Good morning again, Michael from the Urban Homestead Academy. Today is uh, cauliflower, cauliflower harvest day and we've also got some broccoli and broccolini to harvest. Um, generally, we don't like growing a lot of these type of, they're more like your winter crops through the summer because they get a lot of bugs in them, cabbage moth and things like that. But um, these have done really well. But the issue is that with uh, cauliflower, because it's summertime, they grow so quick, you've only got a short, very short period to actually pick them. So what we tend to do with cauliflower, we're gonna pick all these in one go now. Uh, and what we'll do, we'll re refrigerate some of the bigger ones and they'll last refrigerated in the, in the fridge for at least three or four weeks and the rest of them will just blanch and freeze. It just means you've, you've freed your bed up for more planting. Uh, and it's the same with the, the broccoli. As you can see, the broccoli is actually starting to go really well, but it's just starting, you're just starting to see the broccoli, of course, is actually the, the uh, flower head. You can just start to see a little bit of yellow showing, but these are still perfectly edible. Uh, so what we do with the broccoli is you can just pick that off like so and we can cut all these back and what we'll do with these, when we've, when we've finished pricking all these in one go uh, we can just get the bed ready for, for more planting um, but as you can see they're, um, they're looking really good and they've got the stem because this one's called baby bunching, so you can use the stem as well. Um, and this is a this is a bunch we've uh, we picked these three or four weeks ago, and we've just refrigerated. And as you can see, that they're still perfectly okay. But because the weather's really warming up again, the cauliflower and the broccoli are really growing quick. So we just basically need to get it all picked, get it either uh, uh, frozen or uh, refrigerated. So we'll just pick these um, cauliflowers. I'm actually quite impressed with the cauliflowers because I was going to mix up some organic spray to, to deal with the, um, the cabbage moth and I sort of didn't get, a, get around to it. So these haven't been sprayed at all, which is fantastic. You can sort of see the cabbage moths have been eating some of the leaves a little bit, but the actual cauliflowers are still perfectly fine. As you can see, some of these are a real decent size. So let's get all these picked. And the leaves, once again, will go to the, the chickens. Chickens love the, the cauliflower leaves. So there's our harvest done. We've got about 25 cauliflowers. Um, cauliflowers are around about $5 each in Australia at the moment. So we've probably got about, uh, plus we've got uh, a kilo or so of broccoli. So we've probably got $150 worth of uh, fresh organic produce here. Um, so that's definitely a win. Um, some of our family members, members love cauliflower, so we'll give some away. Um, we'll, we'll put some of these other ones in the fridge and they'll store for like three to four weeks in the uh, cooler department of the fridge. And then we'll, um, blanch some of these and freeze some of them for later um, and then we'll just turn this bed over again and then we'll just put um, uh, some root crops in so we'll give it a, a month or so rest and we'll plant probably another batch of uh, autumn carrots and onions and things like that uh, so that's pretty successful so there's our collies our broccoli and we're still going to get another pick out of our broccoli so we'll leave the broccoli in for at least another three or four weeks and we'll get another pick out of that so that's uh, four picks of broccoli uh, and we do our cauliflower in one big batch uh, and so, as you can see, we've got a bunch of cauliflower leaves left here. Chickens absolutely love them. Um, so they'll be in, in cauliflower leaves for the next week. They'll just chomp through those. And um, as I said earlier, we normally sort of uh, put a, mix up an organic spray for the white cabbage moth's larvae, which is that one there. So the white cabbage moth, it's really, really abundant in, in late spring and summer. It's one of the reasons why we don't plant a lot of the brassica family, because we get a lot of these, this white cabbage moth and lays this larvae and the caterpillar chews, that's what's making all this damage on the leaves. But even though we haven't sprayed it all, they've damaged the leaves a bit, but the uh, cauliflowers are fine. 
So um, it's a batch of cauliflower that has not been sprayed totally organic. So I um, hope that uh, you found that interesting. So uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.